So thank you so much everyone for having me here today and thanks for that warm welcome. So today I'm here to not just spoon feed you and tell you this is what you should be doing. Of course, I've done a lot of videos on YouTube uh, you know, talking about all of that, right? Uh, I'm sure you have seen it. So today I'm here to talk about how exactly you can be job ready. And you don't need anybody's help. It's all observation. So I'm going to tell you some tips, tricks, techniques, which will help you become job ready. But at the same time, it will remain with you forever. So, you know, there are two ways to teach. One is, you know, you ask someone to cook or second is you spoon feed them, right? So the whole world nowadays is spoon feeding, right? 30 seconds or one minute feed you, right? So I'm not here to uh, give you any specific gyan. I'm going to tell you how exactly I got all this knowledge. So as you pass out, you know, these things are not taught in class. This is whatever I'm going to tell you is all practical things and uh, observatory things. It's not something which uh, somebody can actually, you know, write in a textbook also. Okay. How I got to know, let me tell you that. So, you know, we started Biotechnica in the year of 2006 and uh, that time uh, we saw this gap that students are passing out, they're not getting a job. And that's the problem even today. So we said, we'll create a jobs and opportunity portal where we will, you know, have uh, all these jobs. So now what happens, you know, the side effect of doing this. So I was an introvert, just like all of you. I used to feel a lot of stage fear when I will stand in front of audience like all of you. And then uh, magic happened. So first 15 or 16 years of Biotechnica, I always shied away from camera, from, um, you know, people. I'll not go to conferences. Um, I'll not um, go and talk to people. But I was good with observation. I was good with writing. So I used to write a lot. And that's how you see a lot of articles written by me on Biotechnica. And of course, we were posting a lot of content on about jobs and about how to get you know, success in your career, CSIR net, PhD, all of that. That era was like, okay, there were very less companies, hardly, you know, 200 companies in India. So uh, the only way to succeed was PhD. So that's what happened. So, you know, what happened after that? So then the YouTube revolution happens and I realized that for the last 18 years or like 15 years, I have been doing this. I've been, so everything which is posted on Biotechnica goes through my eyes, okay? So I read through all the articles which my team has written or whatever jobs are posted. I read through everything, right? So when I read so much data, you know, I became the chat GPT of Biotech. So then some student asked, what should I do? I suggested something, it clicked and he got a job. Someone asked something. So this is how I started helping students, uh, like how I'm doing right now. right? But then I th thought, okay, if I have to do this to more people, I can, of course, make a video. And that's where I think four years ago, uh, we started with video. I think 2019 or 18, I started making more regular videos. Before that, it's very less. And those are not good videos also. If you, you It is there on Biotechnica's YouTube channel. You can go and check. So what happened is... I became the chat GPT of biotech because I had read through 19 years of job description. Okay, or 15 years of job, job description. So if you have read through so many jobs which the companies are posting, then you know what kind of skill this guy needs to get a job. You tell him that or train him on that and he gets the job, right? So that's uh, pretty much happened. So today, as I stand in front of you, to talk about how to learn the trends. Simplest, easiest way is go to Biotechnica and or the newsletter. Read through every job which is being posted. Even if you are not eligible, okay, read through. Because if not you, somebody else will get helped, you know. So read through all the job descriptions. You will know what skill set I need, okay. And this is called, you know, Either I can spoon feed you or you can cook yourself. So I'm giving you my secret, okay? So my secret is I read through job description. 
the moment it is posted on biotechnica i'll go and check what kind of skill set is required by my students to get this job right so this was happening now four years ago biotechnica global happened we said okay why why to have just a job portal of india my father who is also the chairman of the company he insisted that biotechnica should go global so we went global and so now again i was doing the same thing i was reading <laughs> job description yes job description of global companies right so so many companies are posting jobs or uh, those details i'm reading right and that led me to know the trends so if a particular skill set is being posted by multiple companies that means all the companies needed that is required right so i'm not here to tell you that do synthetic biology i'm not here to tell you that you do mrna vaccine technology or you just go through the job description you'll know <laughs> okay <laughs> right so that's 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 about how to know the trends okay so moving forward the life science industry is transforming yes please come so the life science industry is transforming right so yeah you can go please so if the life science industry is growing it's transforming right so now as of today if i go and check the global job descriptions as well as the local indian job descriptions what i see and even what you will see is you will see more of python r they're not disclosing that they're working on ai right nobody will say that hey i'm making a maggi they will they'll say i am ordering uh, you know some noodles right that's what they're doing they're not saying openly that they are working on ai led drug discovery or whatever all they are saying is we are hiring python r experts who have good knowledge of bioinformatics right so these companies are actually planning to increase the investment and they have already in- increased their investment in generative ai for biotech already i know several companies who have designed their own ai and they're not launching in the market they have designed their ai right here in bangalore okay so uh, there are uh, i think seven or eight companies who have developed their own ai it is not chat gpt their own ai it's rag model and they've trained on their own custom data and they're experimenting right and they're hiring right and they're taking our students or from elsewhere so generative ai across biotech is transforming and that's something it's pretty much evident now the problem with job description is nobody is going to tell you what exactly they are going to hire you for what you will do they'll tell you okay these are the things you should know right this is what is happening so there's a catch with the job descriptions they will not write openly they'll write discreetly okay so you have to be smart for example somebody is hiring for uh say precision medicine right so they'll mention that i'm uh, looking for someone who has um experience in genomics and biomarker discovery all that right maybe uh, if they are looking for uh, bio manufacturing scale up they will mention uh, i'm looking for someone who has expertise in bio process right so that's how they write so you have to understand how to decode right now the question is how fast this market is moving right so many of you are studying your masters bachelors right btech mtech problem is nobody tells you all this that one day your degree is gonna get over is that right yes and then you are in, out in the market right pretty much exposed to everybody and everybody is asking you questions what's the question like what do you know companies will ask what do you know and relatives will ask when are you getting placements right so the even though the market is growing there are a few few sectors of market which is employment generating now for example if i have to employ 10 microbiologists i need to have a you know 2000 or you know 3000 uh, square feet lab right that requires me investment of certain crores right so to employ 10 microbiologists i need 10 crores investment but if i have to employ 10 bioinformaticians i need just one laptop each of 1 lakh that's 10 lakh rupees right and some softwares so there's a difference from 10 crore to 10 lakhs right that is why more bioinformaticians more genomics experts more such dry lab people are getting hired by x instead of wet lab so you know if you want to run faster then you have to sit on the shoulder of someone who is running faster right that's a, that's what everybody has to do right so 
you know, when you want to go from here to Delhi, what do you do? You take a plane, right? You're sitting on the shoulder of the plane, by the way. I mean, inside the plane. So, the plane takes you there. So, it's faster, right? So, you have to take a vehicle which will take you faster. Wet lab is not fast. Dry lab is. So, even though the market will grow, okay, the competition will also grow. Your juniors, your seniors and your contemporaries, all of them will compete for the same job. Right? But if you have some added advantage, now that's what I call it the Swiss knife theory. So companies today no longer require specialized people, they require a Swiss knife. So they want someone with a T-shaped personality. Someone who has a deep domain expertise of one thing which they need and has a broad expertise of other things also. Because you have, you will be most of the time working on cross-domain functions. Basic titration also requires you knowledge of physics and chemistry. Correct? So, a lot is at stake in companies. So, that is why they will not hire someone who has only one specialization. They, they are looking for someone who has multiple specializations. Now, coming to the remote jobs. Now, I am told, even here, more women are there in the biotech sector. Right? So... And uh, then they get married. Then they, um, you know, I think you are married, right? So, yeah. So, uh, they get married and then uh, the husband is posted somewhere. Suppose in some remote location. Right? His husband is in, is in government job. I had this one student. Her husband was in Satara in a power department. Government job. So, she can't leave that and come, right? Because now all the companies are either in Pune or Mumbai or you know, Bangalore. So, she was like... Can I get a work from home job? Right. That's where clinical research comes into picture. Clinical research, clinical data management. If you take training for that, you can work from home also. Even for bioinformatics, you can do work from home. So anything which gives you flexibility and more chances of employment, how do I know this? I also read the job description, which you have to do, right? That will get you more jobs. So 5.85 trillion, that's a projected global market rate market CAGR by 2034. So globally, please don't think India because you are a global citizen as of today. By 2034, that is nine years from where I'm standing, okay, the biotech economy combined with the pharma will be $5.85 trillion, right? Near term, it seems tighter because all of you are trying wet lab. Dry lab is the future of biotech, okay? Now having said that, more companies are becoming selective in hiring. That means they are hiring people who are Swiss knife. They are not hiring people who are just specialists of one domain, right? Now, what will grow? Again, I'm telling you from my uh, all memory and experience and everything which I have learned. Cancer vaccines, they are going to grow. Then all the cell and gene therapies, CRISPR, mRNA platform will grow. Stem cell therapy will grow. Even uh, now India is coming up with regulations for uh, stem, cell, stem cell therapy, right? The same way, the more these research will grow, the regulatory framework will get tighter and that means more regulatory affairs professional are required. So you need to know more of global regulatory affairs, right? You will have to know how to handle biotech supply chain. Even that is something nobody talks about. And by the way, more and more need for biotech product managers will be in the future application scientists and product managers because the industry wants to sell more and more they want strategists not just scientists right so we require strategists not just scientists so there is a talent scarcity of someone who is also a, who is a scientist and also talent strategist or a, a strategist right now i'll give you examples so i know a chief scientific officer of a biotech company is um, not very far from the place where we are standing right now. And he started as a junior scientist. He became chief scientific officer. But you know what he's doing today? He's a product management officer. So he is at the chief level and C level and he's earning like, you know, tens of crores. And all he does is product strategy. Because he knows the science and he knows the strategy. When you combine science with strategy, that's how biotech companies will grow and biotech companies is rather... I would say every company, including my own company, loves to grow. So what's stopping you? Right. Combine science with strategy, that's where you'll win. So what exactly is the need of the need of the R? Cross discipline disciplinary fluency. So what does it mean? A scientist who knows coding, right? A 
person who is understanding the tech language right python r artificial intelligence machine learning genomics right a person who understands regulatory compliance seriously right a person who is agile domain flexible who doesn't say i want to be a microbiologist follow up my life i don't want to be anything else that kind of mindset you'll not survive in the smart market right and then you need to monitor the current trends and then you need to don't just monitor see if you just monitor what is ha- going to happen then you become a reporter right but if you my dear friend if you act on it you know take training from the right people upskill yourself and learn then you become suddenly from non eligible to eligible that is where biotechnica comes to picture see what i did i sat i sat here i was watching all the job descriptions and then what i learned is okay this is what is required and i saw people not getting jobs i saw companies coming to me saying i'll pay you 10% of their ctc but hire me someone and we could not right so we said okay we need to do, do talent mapping we need to design the talent if they don't exist that's where we started talking to universities we start started talking to you know hods like um, chief and a lot of students and we came up with upskilling programs bundles of programs which can help all of you right now the problem with today's uh, generation is i recently had a whatsapp message he says for everything you start prescribing me a course i was like okay don't take that course wait for 2 years watch out what happens then come to me and he he you know stopped messaging me for 10 days maybe he got angry <laughs> youngsters you know now it is they get angry so he he now comes back after 10 10 days and says you're right i analyzed and saw that what you were saying is actually the truth it's it's really happening so you know um, either you go to the tree climb the tree pluck the fruit wash it cut it and then eat it and you get the nutrition or you watch my videos it's like a juice gets you all the nutrition that's what i do here so as a ceo of biotechnica what exactly what is the role i'm here to play i'm not here to tell you that do this do that i'm here to tell you that the future is going to be yours and you are underestimating you all are underestimating yourself i'm telling you on face okay whether you feel it bad or good you have more capacity more potential than you think you have but to make that happen to make that dream happen to become a chief scientific officer or nobel prize winner by 2047 you got to act the global opportunities the global drug pipelines are about to burst but if you are there you get the fruits of it there will be more cross collaboration in between china india russia us europe in biotech in the coming years because there will be more new viruses coming in more challenges for humanity more food problems more pollution more greenhouse gases you name it everywhere including the oceans pollution right water pollution so that means every problem is an opportunity for a biotechy now if you yeah thank you for noting that now if every uh, i'll repeat for everyone so every problem in this world is an opportunity for a biotechy now the thing is are you ready for it so thank you so much i had that's, that's all i wanted to share with you and uh, i'll see you around if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me and for those who watched this uh, recording online thank you uh, you can comment below and i'm reading your comments and definitely i'll help you in winning in this world of biotech all the best thank you thank you everyone